Well, I saw him play, you know, now that Serge is overseas. Um, I wanted to check out, you know, obviously some EuroLeague guys that I trained that are over mm-hmm. there. Uh, he caught my eye um, playing against uh, the number one pick, Zachary. So I just wanted to see, you know how I am. I just want to see some dark horses and mm-hmm, dudes mm-hmm. that, that kind of pop out. You know, he didn't get a lot in terms of playing time. I think he averaged like 15 to 20 minutes. It wasn't anything, you know, that would blow anybody out of the water. The thing I liked with him uh, is he plays like his age. He plays like mm. a 19-year-old that's just like, no, nah, I just want to hoop. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I got a bag. I want to show it. I want to do all this stuff. This stuff. I know that the clips that came out showed the extensive, you know, single leg snatch and the tween tweens and all that other stuff. That's not necessarily his game. He's working on pace. Mm-hmm. He's working on his jump shot. You know, he has a decent mid-range jump shot. Uh, he's a good catch and shoot guy from three, but he needs to work on that, you know, considerably. But his energy, uh, I, I like him a lot. I mean, he's it's it's a youthfulness, you know, and the pace that he's able to play at would be good down the road. Once again, we have a ton of wings. Yeah that are shoring up defensively, which is something that he needs to work on. Now, granted, I said that he was a good, you know, he'd be a good 3 and D piece. That's down the road. Right now, he's not going to be that. He's one of those players, I think, that the Knicks can stash away for two years, three years, see how everything unfolds with OG, Mikel, how everything works contractually, because this young man will still be on a rookie deal, and they could see what they're working with. He can create off the dribble uh but as i said he plays like his age there are a lot of passes that he'll try to make that are just like oh my god what are you doing yeah and then there are others that are like oh my god how'd you get it there (laughs) so Mm. you know there there are certain instances in which you're gonna you know pull your hair watching this kid and then you know applaud him for other other uh other plays that he's making he could play the small forward i think he's gonna end up being he'll be a small forward Uh, But he could play a little bit of the two uh, just because of the fact that once he's able to learn how to properly, you know, play with the tempo and pace and and space of the NBA, that's another thing that I really want to see him in summer league do. I want to see how well he's able to play within the construct of an NBA game. Obviously, the early game, it's different with the motion and whatnot. You know that they're going to try to create uh, off the dribble with two, three dribbles, and then you got to give it up in the NBA. Europe, he had a little bit more freedom in the sense of that. So, uh, excellent cutter. Uh, that's something else I want to see. He's able to finish around the basket. He's bouncy. He's a crazy bounce. So, um, the athletic ability defensively, the lateral movement doesn't match as much as the vertical. So, that's something that he's going to have to work on as well when he gets here. Uh, but I think they made a really, really safe and smart pick with him just because the upside is is pretty big with him. I think he's going to be a really, really good player in this league. Mm. That's Pac Home Dadiet at number twenty five, and he can, he went to the podium. He said, huh, "I'm not going back." So we'll see, man. We'll see what the next play. He spent are. five days in New York and was like, "Yeah, nah. he said, yeah, nah, I'm not going back, man." <laughs> and he's out here for the summertime too, so he, he got a good feel for it. Um, mm-hmm. and, and then you know, just in terms of defensive IQ awareness. You know, guarding in space, what did, what did you see? I mean, I, I know you said you saw him for a few games. What did you see out there? So, he gambles. Right, you know, right. I think that that's the, that's the safest bet. He's raw. So, it's like, you know, when you're learning the game and offensively, you know, I have this theory where it's like the players that play with, you know, 100 miles per hour and they're learning the pace and change of pace and spacing of the floor, defensively it kind of, trickles over to that where it's just like I can get a steal I'm just gonna go push you know I'm I'm gonna get a steal I'm gonna gamble I'm gonna play the lane I'm gonna over you know overplay uh I'm not gonna play mid I'm gonna play low and then try to get that block shot like there's a lot of things that the kids do where you're just like okay young buck you're gonna have to learn you know going through screens over screens under screens you know mm-hmm. shading your man tagging your man things like that he's learning that so there should be some a level of patience, which is great because the the fans, Nick fans, could be able to grace, you know, give him some grace in that that department. Uh, the only issue that won't be 
tolerated in my opinion uh the on ball defense there's no way you can hide from that in a in a system like what the Knicks have you know so he's not really a good on ball defender mm. uh but he can play the hell out of some passing lanes he does a good job of reading where the pass is going but not necessarily moving on the flight of the ball you know so a lot of coaches will say you know don't wait until your guy catches the ball in order to move you got to move on the flight of the ball so he does a good job of anticipating where the ball is going he just doesn't move <laughs> when he needs to immediately to get to the ball but that's a youth thing you know yeah. it's just like you know I'm I'm super athletic I can get there when I get there and you know but I think that once he comes of age as I said 21 22 you know some seasoning and he really develops around guys that are steady paced and and that's another thing I would like as much as I would like to kind of stash him away I think him being around the club and having Mikel and OG with him every day and just seeing those guys are so like even keel, both their playing style and their personalities that it might just be able to like temper them down a little bit mm. and just be like, look, you know, this is, you don't have to be a hundred miles and a hundred miles per hour in order to get that deflection. You know, all you need is to do is to contain, run your man off the three point line, let the big do the rest, let OG clean up the mess. If you get beat off the dribble, little mm. things like that, you know, you don't necessarily have to be the, you know, electric playmaker, uh, that you can be in time you can but right now you don't need to do that 